I'm a big fan of Hannah and her singing. She's singing, I'm two feet away from it. That's amazing. I'm just like, wait, 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 wait. Hot, just let me, let me just settle myself for a second. I would say because it, everyone can find themselves in some part of it, it's so beautifully written that it takes you from one emotion to the next, like turning on a dime. And the fact that I love it when people come up to me and say, oh, my partner and I watch it together and we never get to watch anything together because we can never agree on anything. People always say that. And it's a real art form that the writer's room have come up with to manage to get, let a whole family, you can have various different walks of life, various different ages, all watching the same program and, and it unifies people. Probably the first first day, you're all very nervous and you don't know each other. I think the first day I was like Roy Kent shouting at the team and knowing that I had to be tough and, and command them. And I, I suppose that was challenging to start with, but everyone was so fucking lovely. It was fairly easy once you got going. The most challenging thing for me is always being careful to portray her at her heart as someone who had, regardless of what you see of her externally, someone who has been a huge victim of verbal abuse and wanting to keep that in my back pocket and let it show itself every now and again. I often think about season one when we did the karaoke scene. I'm a big fan of Hannah and her singing. She's singing, I'm two feet away from it, that's amazing. And then next to me is Jason doing some of the best acting ever, having his panic attack. And on the other side of me, Nick Mohammed's getting hammered. And I'm sat with uh, Juno and it's like building this love between Roy and Keeley. That whole sequence, I just remember thinking, fucking hell, this is amazing that I'm here. I think my favorite moment actually was when we all wondered if we might be able to get together during COVID times. And when we all were allowed to come back and start shooting on season two, even though everyone was wearing masks until the cameras went up onto shoulders, and even though myself and Juno Temple had the, I would say it's like being a dog going to the vet. We had these plastic shields away from our makeup, like we were in the war together and we were all just like powering on through and knowing that we were producing something that people had already fallen in love with and the joyous responsibility of getting more stuff out there to give people the hug that they needed. Phil Dunstry plays Jamie Tart. I can't get through a scene with him without laughing. But then I also have that problem with Nick Mohammed. And then I also have that problem with Jeremy Swift. I have that problem with most of, I'm very unprofessional. So the, the reason this season, everything uh, took a while is because I'm laughing in so many takes. It ruined, <laughs> it ruined so many takes. I was just about to say Nick Mohammed. I can't do a scene with him. I was saying earlier that I have to look at his ear instead of his face. Because I, ha as Rebecca, I have to be slightly removed from Nathan and be a bit imperious. And me as Hannah, I just, I can't get enough of him. And he literally has to lay his eyes on me. And I'm just like, wait, 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 hot. Just let me, let me just settle myself for a second. Like when we were doing the scene of, of the power pose of me going, ah. Honestly, his reaction to it, I had to keep doing it again and again. And I was like, can you at least when the camera is on me and they're doing my coverage, can you look somewhere else? Because if you look at me, I'm going to laugh. And then even him looking somewhere else makes me laugh as well. The offside flag not going up until after a goal is scored. That seems weird to me. It seems like a cheat. I'll get rid of that. Just put the flag up as soon as you see it. What are we doing? Stop teasing us.